So you're not married. I am not married. I don't now know. everybody's confused. There probably are people who ran to <laughs> their machines oh, to exactly. send that out as a bulletin, and they didn't hear you say, okay, I'm not married. <laughs> well, I'm envious that you have that choice. Gay and lesb <laughs> lesbians oh, don't no. have that choice. Okay, you get okay, off okay. this political okay. soapbox. We heard it. <laughs> George, it's the Howard Stern show. <laughs> and nobody's uh, listening. Uh, by the way, for those of you tuning in, there's lots of exciting stuff happening. George Takei will be the new voice of the Howard, um, a Howard Stern show here on Howard 100, 101, yes? George is great. George is the say. best. We love George. <laughs> and George, even after this week, when you go back to your home, yes. uh, you will, your voice will be a part of our show. You'll be integrated into our show, and we love that. Yes, and you didn't finish the story. Once George's name came up in that meeting, everybody said, yes, we have oh, to yeah. have George. I knew my George fans. George is the well, man. Well, thank yeah. you. Man. Thank you. I love you, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you much love in the room, and I'm getting, I'm getting reports that it was actually Richard Christie's idea, yes. so was Sal, Sal yeah. can... <laughs> yeah, it was Richard Christie who said, let's get George to right. right. Not Sal. Right. No, it was, Not actually, Sal. it was actually me. I mumbled it, and then Richard Christie repeated it. Is that true? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. I'm all yeah. Take credit. All right, so Ralph, wow. good job. Thank you. So, Howard, yeah. just because we don't have time to break and have this discussion, so the press conference is scheduled for 8, and I need like 10 minutes to start getting people in. <laughs> yeah. And um, so I need to know if we're going to do this next or not. Start getting people in. Hold on a second. What is it? Richard? Ralph's full of it, by the way. He's over there laughing. No, that was my oh, idea. Oh, that was, maybe it was another idea you stole. <laughs> no, TK was my idea. I'm a big, <laughs> I'm a big fan of yours, by the way, George. Oh, well, thank you very He's much. The man I've, who I've, suggested you. Yeah, yeah I had a you lot have of... him to thank for being here. Yeah. Well, let me compliment you on your good taste. Well, thank yeah. you. <laughs> I, I've had a lot of fun with your audio book too. Oh, yeah. I yeah. guess you have. <laughs> yes, you have. Hey, Fred, play a few uh, uh, things from. That we took and re-edited from George Takei's oh audio book. Oh, oh there you I, go. I put a bunch of them on a George Takei oh, page. Here we go. Oh, you have? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. yes we have. <laughs> we love you, man. Here, I got you. Finally, the intercom buzzed, and I was pointed to the big door. Hi, I'm Gene Roddenberry. By the way, George... How do you pronounce your last that name? That ain't it. No, is that's it Takai? That's not what you want. No, I know what we want. We One want night, it. William Shatner looked down at my wang and it grew <laughs> and grew. Hey, here's one. Ricardo Montalban's unit curved up to a peak and pointed sharply upward. One night, William Shatner dutied on a gesticulating cowboy. <laughs> I, I did not say to that. Assault my yeah, I know. We made it. We did. <laughs> I love to assault my boyfriend's ass cheeks oh, with my, my curved <laughs> wang. <laughs> Is that true? And of course, the classic, the classic, and we got to give to Chris, uh, you know, credit for, credit for this yeah. one. Hello. Hi, George. This is Ricardo Montalban. <laughs> Ricardo. Yes. How are you? Well, how are you? Just great. I was just calling to say hello. Well, it's always delightful to hear from you. Uh huh. So, uh, what are you doing this evening? Well, believe it or not, tomorrow I'm um, taking off uh, on a Star Trek cruise. We have uh -huh. Star Trek conventions that now uh, float. Uh huh. <laughs> are you going to come out to Fantasy Island? Uh, well, we're f uh, sailing from um, San Pedro, <laughs> and uh, we're going uh, through the Panama Canal. Uh -huh. Yes. Is there any what are you up to? I don't. I'm just driving around with uh, talking on my new phone. Oh, <laughs> well, good for you. Yeah, I was thinking about hooking, uh, uh, trying to buy some hookers. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Is that your doggy? That's my dog. Uh, what's your dog's name? She's a papillon. She, uh, her name is Ren. Ren? Speak French? Uh, very little. Well, Ren means uh, queen. Uh -huh. I, know, I know Ren and Stimpy. Oh, oh no, not that Ren. R-E-I-N-E. -E. I see. Ren. Uh -huh. La Ren. Her full name is La Ren Blanche. Uh -huh. That's a pretty... Arena Blanca. That's a pretty name. <laughs> Thank you. Have you uh, now? Uh, have, you, have you been watching E when they had the uh, the story about uh, tattoo? No. Oh, I, I, that's why I'm calling. I was wondering if you ever seen a a a, a midget naked. <laughs> You know, I don't think you're Ricardo Montalban. <laughs> now, George, when you got that call, did it surprise you that Ricardo Montalban just called you out of the clear blue? Well, he has. Yeah. But, you know, it's interesting. When uh, Gary called me about this gig, 
The first thing he said was, "This is Gary Delabadi. I'm not recording you." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta let you know. Um, <laughs> Uh, yes, Ralph. Well, can I ask George a question? How, yes. did you, how did you believe for a second that was Ricardo Montalban? I mean, it didn't even sound like him. Well, because, you know, it was early in the morning, and I guess, I guess we get self-obsessed. You know, oh, isn't it nice? Ricardo's right. calling me. Yeah. And so I just yeah. carried on the book. <laughs> you know, you want to believe. You want to believe it's Ricardo That's Montalban. Right. Uh, hi, you're on the air. Go ahead.